Hello, I am Genghis Don of the Donorom team, and this is noticeably not StarCraft. It is, in fact, Star Fox. The SNES version of that, of uh, Star Fox at that. No characterization, just a bunch of anthropomorphic animals speaking gibberish and fighting the menacing polygons of, well, the world, the universe. Well, I think that's all the intro we really need to see. Uh, looks like, uh, Falco is off giving us the evil eye. The, uh, noble hair and noble toad are bewildered. And Fox is looking strangely seductive. Which is just downright disturbing. Growing up, it's kind of weird that I would actually like this game, because I had a pathological fear of, uh, mascots. Anthropomorphic animals in general just freaked me out. That Robin Hood movie Disney made? Yeah, that was Nightmare. So imagine my uh, disgrace when I found out that Google Image Search will bring up pictures of Star Fox in a bikini engaging in immoral acts of sexual congress with uh, that general fellow there. The guy rocking the aviators. Take... Uh, I don't want to... Okay. Good luck. Taking Venom by surprise is what I'm planning to do, apparently. I didn't realize there was a plan. I'm probably going to regret this. That's that's the hard difficulty if memory serves. Oh yeah. Good old disco music. That's the that's a really roundabout way of saying okay. Uh, I can still move around. Remember that much? Controller's a little weird after all this time. We. When I was younger, I just assumed everything on this game was an enemy. But since we're on the home planet, that's obviously not the case. There has to be some vestige of civilization here. Otherwise, it wouldn't be worth defending. So, yeah, we bas I was basically a real loose cannon back when I was young. Real sociopath. Kind of like Rorschach. Then again, I guess we all were. We just saw things... We just saw things and knew that their natural state was explosions. We were curing the world in a cosmic sense. Well, hello there. I assume those are allies, and they are doing the noble work of knocking things over. Rather than fighting these things. Are you a good polygon or a bad polygon? This game used to be so awesome back in the day. It did. Still. It, I mean, it hasn't aged gracefully, I guess. I mean, But I remember back when, like, back when it was all just a top-down Space Invaders was, like, the epitome of space combat, and then suddenly this comes out, and it's, oh, wow. Yeah. Didn't say I was ever actually good at this. I played it a lot. Doesn't mean I was actually good at doing anything. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm cool. I can phase through buildings at a cost to my apparent health. But well, physics isn't doing any doing me any favors here. Yeah, I guess I'll destroy these things. I don't think I've ever actually played the N64 version of this. I've seen it played, I and mean, I know they actually talk in that one, as opposed to just saying talking about bananas. Star Fox likes to talk about bananas. He's apparently very angry with Monsanto. Their policies are pretty diggish. 
I never actually played this game on the uh, understanding that I was in fact a fox. I always just imagined myself as being Han Solo and a Han Solo who just happened to be allied with strange talking animals. I didn't really like the idea of playing as an anthropomorphic animal. That old phobia of... Yeah. Talking animals just isn't right. Naturally, furries kind of freak me out. Though I think that's a given. Interesting thunder sound effects. I'm from the Midwest. I'm quite familiar with thunder. So... Rainstorms don't, don't, don't make that sound, though. It's not quite that cheery. Apparently, Toad stutters even whatever language they're speaking. It sounded pretty fluent to me. But then again, I, I don't speak... Uh, Cornarian. All right, we're in an asteroid belt now, and there's an enemy battleship in this game, and I can do it. Good luck. Well, Fox can do it. I'm not Fox. I'm Harrison Ford. Enemy craft. They get. They've sent their finest cheese after us. I'm lactose intolerant. I really am, that's not a joke. No, technically, it's not... All dairy products are a little unsettling to the human stomach since cows have been domesticated quite recently in our evolutionary history. But enough about that. Let's blow up some asteroids. Wait. Having vague flickers of memory. <gasps> Did I free Yoshi? I can't... What does that do? Is this like the space whale? No, this is a space void. Hey, you gonna get me items or something? Come on. Uh, this didn't give me items. This is... The, that's not the black hole. Wait, okay, I think I remember this. Uh, okay. This is the problem with focusing on, like, staking your entire defense strategy on private military corporations. They always buzz off to alternate dimensions at the worst possible time. Uh, this is bad. Uh. What, um. I don't think I ever actually played this when I was young. I Maybe I did? Maybe I just repressed it. This is kind of. a dimension of. It res it's responsive to my movements. Uh, I don't really know what to say. There's a lot of smiling moons and stars. Well, let's let's focus on other things. Apparently, we're we're just gonna not fight Andros. We're gonna leave that dog plant to uh wither, which really doesn't bother me that much. I mean, I don't really like anthropomorph... I don't like talking animals. I don't like furries. So a furry genocide isn't going to bother me that much. And I've just teleported the um, Star Fox team out of this dimension. So there can never be fan art. That, that's positive. 
doesn't look like there's anything living in this dimension, so they can't cause too much damage. This is a universe of paper and... Uh... Okay. It's a good thing that whoever designed this isn't very good at or origami. I could be fighting dinosaurs right now, but no, it's just paper airplanes. Not, ver not even very good ones. That kind of... I mean, it's a pretty standard design. But it was it generally doesn't go that far. The wingspan's not sufficient. I'm not really sure what they're gliding on. Unless we're not actually in a vacuum. We're actually there's air. Something. This isn't a vacuum, this is Okay, let's We have entered the domain of fortune as represented by the avatar slot machine and it it's very it's having a good time well now would be a good, as good a time as any to discuss uh, TK the Greek god of fortune or known as Fortuna to those of you who are just that fond of Rome following the death of Alexander his successors began competing uh, for the empire he he created and uh, as time went on well a man who was a platoon commander could quickly rise through the ranks and earn himself a governorship of certain territory or even become a diadoke a king in his own right and a king can quickly be destroyed in one battle so, obviously, the Greek god of fortune beca became very important to the Greeks. A single battle can ruin you, or it can catapult you to uh, being the leader of a new dynasty. This has nothing to do with Star Fox. Let's just assume, for the moment, that we are fighting casino capitalism. I think that's what the uh, proper term is, the uh, for the uh, form of economic capitalism prominent in the United States at the moment. Okay, I think I figure out what's what's going. Yeah, if I die, it doesn't really matter. So. Oh, I might actually just. Okay, I, I, I actually remember this now. I remember the slot machine. Alright. Here's hoping that... Well, anyway, back to Hellenistic history. After the death of Alexander, there were, of course, three major empires that arose. One being the Ptolemies in Egypt, the uh, Antipatrids, and later the Antigonids in uh, Macedonia, and the Seleucids in Asia. After that, there were mostly centuries of playing politics with the Greek cities to uh, create some sort of stability despite the near incessant warfare that characterized that period. And so TK has been destroyed. No longer is man's fate left to chance. And we're not leaving the dimension, so no longer is our world supposed to be tormented by the presence of Star Fox fan art. It's kind of like the alternate ending to um, the butterfly effect where he goes back in time and strangles himself in the womb with his own umbilical cord just 
to prevent the events of the movie from happening. Star Fox has made the ultimate sacrifice here. He has seen the deviance that he has spawned, and in shame, he catapults himself into a dimension of solemn moons and menacing ones. And surprisingly English names. I thought this was mostly Japanese. Uh, 3D system. Well, good job Pete Warrens and Carl Graham. 3D was actually kind of a new thing way back when. At least for me. I was kind of repressed when it came to video games. It's like one of the five I had. There are probably a lot better games out there, but hey, it's Star Fox. It's, it's for better or for worse, it's somewhat iconic. He's now overpowered on Super Smash Brothers. But yeah, I, if I hadn't been so curious as to what my memory was leading me to, I guess we'd still be playing and maybe going on to fight a giant polygon face, then destroying a giant space cube, and putting an end to the dictatorship of space monkeys once and for all, but here we are. Trapped in an alternate dimension where the fourth wall is broken repeatedly. And Jason of the Argonauts. I can't talk about Hellenistic history anymore, can I? Let's spell this correctly. Damn it. Yes. No. Oh, no. They're going to send enemies at us. I better hurry. Oh, let's think of some things here. You know, I used to really love astronomy. I still do. But I, I'm not really good at math, so... I couldn't really... I couldn't very well do that. Uh, we're treated to this again. Oh. Okay. I don't think we're going to be leaving here anytime soon. So I guess I should wrap this up then. Stars don't look like that, but hell. Star Fox is locked safely away in another dimension. Our internets are free of that particular plague of fan art. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Have a nice night. Hope that thing clears up. Hope that interview comes through. Hope the bank approves that loan. Hope she says yes. Or I hope you say no if he... Whatever the case may be. Good things to all. TK shine upon you all. Good night. And good luck.